Hello all and welcome to this rather sort of off the cuff video here that I'm going to do. Now my local town has in this sort of uh, building here has sort of a chunk of antique shops. Now one of them has an auction house and they do an auction fortnightly. Now in there occasionally what turns up is a box full of DVDs, Blu-rays and games either one of each type or combined sort of all three stuff together. So what I'm hoping for is that me record this intro it's worthwhile because in there there'll be something that I want to indeed bid on or perhaps buy or perhaps get a deal out of. So today's the viewing, it's Friday, sadly I'm working tomorrow so I won't be able to actually attend the live auction itself. But uh, yeah, let's go to the uh, to the viewing today, perhaps put a bid in on something and they'll let me know if I win it. If indeed we can find some retro gaming stuff there or just indeed any gaming stuff at all. So, uh, if there's anything in there, I'll try and capture the footage. Speak to you soon. Okay guys, so you've seen a little bit of rough raw footage of um, a box full of DVDs with a few games in it. Uh, I've left a bit on that box. Now there's something in there which I'm hoping nobody else sees. Uh, certainly doesn't catch their eye and the bit I've left is basically what I want to pay uh, with regards to getting a bargain as well. So I've left a bid and unfortunately I won't find out until later Saturday evening after I've got home from work whether I've been successful or not. So here's hoping hoping I can bring you a pickup section. So I will speak to you another day. Hello again, and it's Monday morning. Now being as it's Monday morning, I didn't actually think I'd won this lot. I thought they might have called me back maybe the same evening or even Sunday, because they're open Sundays. But I got the call Monday morning telling me that I had indeed won the lot and that the final figure, including all of the listing fees and selling fees and whatnot, it came to £21.38, so obviously I'm very pleased with that actually because uh, what I thought I was hoping no one would see in the box was indeed actually listed in the title of the lot, so people knew it was there. Uh, as you'll see, there's a whole bunch of DVDs here. There are some games in here, as you'll see. There's uh, LEGO Indie 2, so a little spoiler for the pickups. And there are some PS2 games here. They're not all sports titles, but there you go. There's FIFA 6, another little spoil there. As well, so we are home. I'm very pleased to have picked this up. I'll show you guys everything that I've got in this box. Um, as you can see, there are, there are a bunch of DVDs. I mean, this one doesn't even have a, a proper case. It was bought as an ex rental. Might actually keep that for nostalgia because it's got Blockbuster on it. But yeah, I'm going to uh, go through this lot, sort it out, find out the values of roughly of everything that I've got so we can do a comparison for value. Uh, and then, of course, that will culminate in a little pickup section uh, that is shortly to follow. So I will speak to you very, very, very soon. Hello again. It's now Wednesday. Wednesday being a day off work for me. So one of my favourite days of the week. Aren't days off just awesome? And it's given me a chance to go through my auction lot and indeed check that everything's in the boxes that needs to be. Check that of good quality and of course do my pricing up to see whether or not I got a deal out of this lot or not. So let's start off by just showing you the receipt quickly from the auction house. On that receipt you'll see I did pay a sale price of £19, the commission was £2.38, making a grand total of £21.38. You'll have also noticed by now there's a bunch of DVDs on the screen and I appreciate you're probably here for the gaming stuff, however they were included in the lot so I do want to include them in the video quickly. And let me just tell you now, CX will try and sell each one of these DVDs for 50 pence each with the exception of these Sherlock Home DVDs which they'll charge a pound for and the trading value of each, each of these DVDs is the princely sum of one pence each. So no real value here and they'll probably be just shipped off to my charity shops nearby real soon. By the way, these fees didn't include my nostalgia piece on the top here which is literally just going to be shown nostalgia piece because I've checked the disc by the way, it is scratched up to hell which is this blockbuster DVD of Batman Begins, apparently featuring Christian Bale. So, yep, those are the DVDs. As I say, no real value. Charity shops, expect to see those soon. So, just want to show a couple of busts first. The bust is the last DVD item you'll be seeing, and that's just a copy of a Labyrinth, which had the disc missing. That's quite sad, that one, because of all the discs, uh, or DVDs, should I say, that were, were amongst this lot, Labyrinth is probably the only one that I might have wanted to give a quick watch of again. 
before I passed it on. But never mind, empty disc case. Uh, I have an idea of what I'm going to do this, by the way. One of my regular viewers, you will find out real soon, my friend. Next up is a real shame. It's a copy of Forza Motorsport 3. I say a real shame because the, the box on this is absolute quality. The manual's mint. We've got an extra bit of paraphernalia there. The disc 2 is 100% scratch free. I've checked that. And, but as you'll see, this is disc 2 content installed disc only. The game disc is sadly missing. However, if a tatty one turns up, I can throw it in this and then I'll have a complete box version of the standalone Forza Motorsport 3. I've got this game, but only in a bundle. So next game to have a disc missing, which is why it's a bust, is LEGO Star Wars 2, the original trilogy. Real shame this one. It's a better title than a lot of them. As I say, disc missing. But of all of the ones to have a memory card in it, which was what I was hoping would happen, it was the one with no game. So we have a PlayStation 2 8 megabyte memory card. Uh, CEX will try and charge you 50p for one of those, and they'll give you 10 pence if you wish to trade one in. So from the bus PS2 game to the stack of PS2 games now, by the way. So we're going to start off with one that's just called Rugby. I'm guessing this was the first rugby game, which is why it has no year in it. I don't know. Please educate me in the comments below. I didn't do my research on this. Sorry about that. But yes, we have rugby. So on from rugby, we don't just have one copy of Rugby 2004, but for some reason we have two. So you have two copies of Rugby 2004. And from those two copies of Rugby 2004, another sports title we have is Brian Lara Cricket 2005. And from Brian Lowell Cricket 2005, we move on to a non-sports title in the Italian job, LA Heist. Still a low-value low title, though. And from low-value back to the sports titles, which are low-value. And we have Pro Evolution Soccer 2. And after Pro Evolution Soccer 2, we have two Harry Potter games. The first of these being The Order of Phoenix, Harry Potter and the Order of Phoenix. And the second being Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Next up we have is a game that has a little bit of value to it. CX will try and sell you for £4 SSX Tricky. They'll give me £1.40 trading for that one. And from there on another Platinum game, the first of two Colin McRae Rally games, Colin McRae Rally 3, and the second one being Colin McRae Rally 2005. More sports titles next. Cut the FIFA to get out of the way. We have a copy of FIFA 06. And then we also have a copy of FIFA 10 with a little bit of amusement in it. They clearly weren't a fan of Mr. Wayne Rooney and found an extra sticker to put on his face. So from FIFA games to a little bit of a more interesting title, we have Star Wars Bounty Hunter. And then from Star Wars Bounty Hunter, another Star Wars game, but this time a Lego one in the original Lego Star Wars game. And then from there we do have is another a t movie tie-in title. We've got Ice Age 2 The Meltdown. Obviously not brand new and sealed, but however, they must have bought it pre-owned from Game and haven't opened it yet because they've got that little seal that Game put on all their pre-owned stuff. Now, the final PS2 game I've left for a reason is the surprise turn-up. And I say surprise turn-ups because hear me out when you see what it is. Because, yes, sports title, yes, FIFA, it's actually FIFA 13. Now, the surprise behind this is that CEX will try and sell this to you for £10 with a £3 trade-in. Now, I have done my research on this. It's not even the last FIFA game made for the PlayStation 2. That was FIFA 14. So, why it's held its value quite well, not quite sure. But it has. So, I've looked on eBay as well. And people are trying to sell this on eBay. Buy it now for £11 and above. And there are actually no auction listings at the time of me searching for it as well so guys if you see a copy of fifa 13 for the playstation 2 out in the boot sales for like 10p 50p pick it up because you'll get three pound trading i might try and ebay this and get a little bit more for it i think it'll be worth my time so that's the playstation 2 stuff done do have a small amount of pc games that were included in that lot to show you uh they were just three csi games 50p each from cex another trading masterpiece of one pound one pound i wish they like one p per disc for the csi game so from the csi games to a slightly better one and the only other pc game included in the lot and that was sim city 4 deluxe edition a game they'll sell you for one pound fifty but this time they'll give you a 10p coin for it so next up from the pc stuff a small pile here of xbox 360 stuff first up being the xbox live arcade one i don't have which I thought would turn up in a bulk lot, and it has. However, this one is the only real beaten up one, so it will need a case swap, but uh, I finally have this Xbox Live Arcade compilation disc in my collection. I also finally have Band Hero. This has no real value. CX will sell it to 50p and also give you the Princess Summer 1p to trade it in. And then we have some Guitar Hero games. We'll start off with the couple that I already own. 
first one being Guitar Hero Five, one of the better Guitar Hero games in my in my in my opinion. I quite enjoyed this one. The onto one that isn't as good is Guitar Hero Warriors of Rock. Now I would have liked to have kept this one as a boxed variant, but you'll see this Sharpie squiggle on the front. That Sharpie squiggle is unfortunately on the sleeve. It's not on the casing. They've also got a mark on the disc as well. That'll clean off. Whether that'll clean off or not, I don't know. If it does, it goes in the collection. If it doesn't, it'll go somewhere else. So, a shame about that one. And then, final Guitar Hero game is one I don't own. It gives me an excuse to crack out the guitar and have a play of it. I've been looking for an excuse. And that's Guitar Hero Aerosmith. No real value in it. A 50p tile that you can trade it for 10p, but I need it in the collection. So, it will go in the collection. On to one I don't need, and that is Call of Duty Ghosts. Both discs are in there. You need an installation disc and a game disc, and they are both in there. So that's going to go in the sale or trade pile. And then I finally have a physical copy of an Assassin's Creed game. I say that because I own them all digitally. So the first one turned up in the slot. So I have a, an actual physical copy of Assassin's Creed. And then I also now have Tomb Raider. I have this in an ultimate bundle or an, a triple pack, but I don't have it standalone tile. So now I do. And then the best. 360 game in the lot, You've, you'll have already seen in a couple of parts of the video, was indeed the copy of LEGO Indiana Jones 2. CX will sell this for £6, and the trading value on this, I believe they will give you, is £3. So this one was the best turnout as regards to the 360 pile, but I need it in the collection, so that is where it will be staying. So, ladies and gentlemen, we're coming to the end of all the stuff in the lot. There is the, the item that made it really worthwhile but also a little surprise item in this lot was this cd pouch and in this cd pouch was a load of disc only games i haven't actually had the chance to go through these yet so it'll be interesting to do this and you'll get a proper reaction out of me just saw a flash of a formula one game there first up though is need for speed underground for the playstation 2 there's that formula one game i saw a flash of it's 2001 uh, f1 2001 so that was Formula 1 2001, F1 2001. Not sure what the difference is there, people. But we have, yeah, maybe we have just have two copies of it. Anyway, so FIFA 06, disc only. So we have that box and just disc. Uh, burnout, oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, when I get my PS3 that's fully back about, I'll give that a bash, I think. Cool. V Rally for the PlayStation 1, that is. Yes, look at the black back. That is for PlayStation 1. I do have a handful of PS1 games upstairs, but I'm not sure if I own that. Anyway, on, on to the next one. What have we got here? We have Formula 1. Oh, they like the Formula 1. Formula 1 2000. Is that just a DVD? By what it says on there, it's quite suggestive. Official review of the 2000 Formula 1 World Championships. Okie doke. Uh, FIFA 06 again, so we've got three copies and then amongst this lot, two of them disc only. Uh, what have we got up next? Next up we have Centre Court Hard Hitter for the PlayStation 2. Another PS1 game, the first Gran Turismo game, Gran Turismo 1. That was cool, I played that back in the day, that's really cool, I like that. So what have we got next? Oh, Gran Turismo 2. Uh, however, that is disc 2 of 2, so hopefully the first disc's in here, let's have a look. Nope, that is Weakest Link for the PlayStation 2. And SSX, big. Don't know that's part of the tile, SSX. Need for Speed Calm for PlayStation 2. They like the Need for Speed as well by the look of it. Action Replay Armor Cheese for Grand Theft Auto 3. I'll have no use for that. <laughs> Interesting item in there. Oh, just got a flash of that. That excites me. Pro Evolution Soccer 5. But we have Formula 1 for the original PlayStation I loved the original batch of Formula 1 games on the PlayStation 1. I'd love to give that a bash again, especially the original one. I must buy that again at some point. I did own it once upon a time. And then finally here we have 2002 FIFA World Cup. So I, when I did my pricing up, by the way, guys, I didn't actually include any of this in the total figures. So there's a little bonus value perhaps in there as well. I'm not sure. So that does finally bring us to the reason, the main reason that I got attracted to the lot. Despite the pile of games, I really wanted this. Uh, it has a good sale value at CEX. It has a good, a reasonable trading value as well. What is it? It is a Nintendo DS Lite. It is boxed, but as you'll see, the box is a little bit tatty. So when I did my research on CEX, I did take it into account that it was unboxed. 
and I also took in the lowest grading but working into the pricing so that I didn't overestimate for it. So CEX will sell me one of these for £38 and they will give me trading for this for £15 unboxed. So let's crack it open, let's whip it out of the box and we have an instruction manual in there which is always good. Pull the inlay out, move the box aside. So what else have we got? We've got the charger. I did check for that when I was in the auction house. So having the charger is always going to be handy. And then finally, we have the system. There we go. We have a DS light, which is flashing. So is it on? Is it on? So if it's on, yes, it's on and it's working. So we have a working DS light. And by the looks of it, there's a game. There must be a game in there. So let's just turn that on. I don't want to ruin it. Turn that on. Turn that off. Don't want to ruin it. And just pop the game out and have a look. Uh, Art Academy. So, got a bonus game in there as well. I have no desire to play that, and I have no use for it. And being in its loose condition, I guess it has no value as well. But we have a copy of Art Academy for the DS for some reason. So everything's there. The covers there. There's obviously no game in there. The covers there. The stylus is there. And there we go. We have a DS now. My original plan was to trade it in, but I don't have a DS, so I'm kind of tempted to actually keep it and have it in the collection, or to have it to collect for, should I say, really. So I may keep that now. So how did I do overall? Let's bring in sort of a couple of the show pieces back, some of the better items in it, and I can't believe I'm bringing a FIFA game into that equation. So we have a grand total, if I was to purchase every item here from CEX, I was to purchase them all separately and individually and have a grand total. That grand total to me would be £68.73. Now, the trading value, if I want to trade these in, would be £32.26. So if I trade them in, I will make just over a tenner. And if I was to just buy them all outright and I was able to get the buying price for them, which I doubt I will be, I would actually nearly triple my money. So did I get a deal out of this slot? Well, I did. I, I will get a bonus trading value. I saved some money and I bought it all separately. So I'm really pleased with that. So ladies and gentlemen, just let me know in the comment section below. What did you think of uh, what I got? What do you think of the value of it? Is there anything in this lot that stands out to you? That uh, you should, any, any hidden gems amongst those games that weren't worth a lot? Let, let me know in the comment section below. So finally, ladies and gentlemen, also please like and subscribe as well. And that will just lead me to say to you, finally, as always... Take care.